Hi colleagues, welcome to the short demonstration of Abi Flexi Capture. Let's imagine that you have some scanner or MFP device in your office and all the papers which are scanned with the help of this device are automatically saved into some input folder on your computer. At the same time this input folder will be automatically monitored, automatically checked by Abi Flexi Capture. Then I've predefined output folder for exporting my results. And of course I have some invoice samples. So different invoices, different suppliers, with entirely different structure and design. But anyway, from all these invoices we will capture the same information. In my case it will be invoice number, delivery address, company name, invoice date and total amount. So the same thing from the different invoice. Ok, so I have just said this input folder is constantly checked by Abi Flexi Capture. So when I drag and drop files into this input location, in a few seconds they will be automatically grabbed by the program. So at this moment these files were sent for recognition. Now we open the interface of Abi Flexi Capture. We can see that my files were imported and now they are being recognized. So during this recognition process I'd like to tell you a little bit more about import profiles. So there are different ways to import images into Abi Flexi Capture. It can be done as in my case with the help of local folder and local drive or you can have some shared folder in local area network. You can have a folder on FTP server or even you can make some special email box and all the attachments, image attachments, which will be sent uh, along with emails to this email account. So all these attachments will be grabbed by Flexi Capture and processed automatically. Now let's return to our documents. They were recognized and now they are waiting for verification. What is verification? The verification is a process of manual correction of mistakes, of possible mistakes. Every character during the recognition has such a parameter as confidence level. Confidence level can be from 0% to 100%. And if the program is sure that this character was recognized correctly, the confidence level will be 100%. During the setting of Flexi Capture project, you can specify what confidence level is critical for you. For example, you can tell the program to send to verification all the characters which were recognized with confidence level less than, for example, 60%. In this way, you can uh, set up sending for verification all the characters in order to be sure in the perfectly correct output result. Now let's take a look take a look what verification process is all about. So verification consists of several stages. The first simple stage is group verification. On this stage all characters which were recognized as character 1 and were recognized with not very high confidence level are grouped together so you can see that this character 1 is from this image this character 1 is from this image and etc. but all of them were recognized as number 1 and you can see that it was, it's perfectly correct so you just need to confirm it and go further you can confirm it by clicking on this button or by clicking enter on your keyboard. The same thing with character 2. It's ok. Character 3. Alright. And now we can see the next step of verification. Field verification. Which is quite convenient for verification of addresses, names, 
telephone numbers and so on. So what's the difference? Uh, you can see the recognized text on the top. Recognized because I can change it. Then right below the recognized text I can see the extraction from the initial image. So this part is the initial image which contains the text. And here you can see this field in the context of the whole document. So in this way verification operator can have the full picture of the situation. Again everything is ok, everything was recognized correctly and I just confirm it and go further. So you can see that if you have well enough quality of initial images recognition will be good Okay, here is the first mistake, but actually there is a mistake even in the initial image. But anyway, I just insert the skipped character R and confirm it. The first big mistake, but maybe it was caused by bold font and the program hasn't coped with recognition, but it's not a problem. I am correcting the mistake and confirm. Okay, so verification was completed and now the last step is left. The main step, export. So I think you remember that we have pre-created the output folder and now my output files uh, were automatically created in this output location. In my case I have uh, two CSV files the first one with general data from all my invoices so invoice number, invoice date, delivery address, total amount um, all this data from my five invoices were extracted, was extracted and united into one single table also I have one more CSV file with invoice tables so all the tables from different from my invoices were extracted and united into one single file. It doesn't mean that you always need to create separate files for basic information and tables, it's just my uh, way of setting up the export. Uh, export settings are very flexible and uh, so it can be limited only by your imagination and every scenario can be easily realized so in fact that's all which i wanted to show you and i think you got the general idea of the program if you need any more clarification please let me know and i will be looking forward for your comments by mail thank you and goodbye